when I first started out with DAS, one of the things I really struggled with was, you know, installing third party content and getting it in the right folders. And I looked at a couple or watched a couple uh, tutorials and uh, a lot of them just really didn't do it for me. Um, I ended up having to kind of figure it out on my own. So I want to try to save you some of that hassle. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Render Hub. Uh, we're going to go to, uh, we're on the th free 3D stuff. Uh, we're going to find something that I don't have here. Um, we're going to do this summer day Genesis 8. I'm then going to uh, download that. There we go. So we're going to get back out of this. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to open a file. We're going to go to downloads uh, and we are going to uh, find the summer day thing here. We're going to double click on that. Uh, we're going to double click here. So one thing we want to do is we want to look at these folders and kind of see how uh, the folder structure is because we're going to match that up. Uh, we're going to right click on this folder icon and then we're going to go to my DAS 3D library. Snap that to that side, get this open. So now we have these two different things. So if you, if you look at this, you see that there's a data, there's a people, and there's a runtime there. And we want to combine these folders. This is what I didn't realize before I did this, um, before I learned this stuff. So the way I found that usually works the best is I just drag this, uh, oops, I'll start with this data one and I'll drag it and I'll just bring it, copy to my DAS 3D library. And then I'll go to the people, copy to my DAS 3D library. And finally run time, um, oops. Copy to my DAS 3D library. Sweet. So now, um, if we did this right, we should be able to go into DAS Studio. Um, I should be able to go into the content library. And then I should be able to go to I characters under Genesis 8 female and then we should have um this is the thing is um I need to restructure these because it's kind of hard to figure out who's who um so yeah let's uh let's load her in just to make sure All right, so let's take let's take the perspective view. Uh, let's find her. Where is she at? She's summer day right here. All right, load it in. We're all good. So yeah, that's uh that's the easy way to do it is just pay attention to the structure of the folders. Uh, and then just extract stuff into the right folders. Uh, I never download. I'm I'll open the uh, readme on this just to kind of look at it real quick. Um, commercial renders are okay. Um, that's about the only thing I want to um, pay attention to on that. I do, if, if it says um, for non-commercial only, then I will save that in the documents. That way I can reference and go back. Uh, and then I remember that if there's no uh, readme or uh, documentation on it, then uh, I know that it's good for commercial also. So, but anyways, that's uh, that's the tip I have today. Hopefully, I can save you a little bit of time. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, we'll see y'all later.